we're going to add an anti-spam capture element to our form. It's open here in the form wizard for editing. We're going to drag a capture input element across into the preview window. Use the green arrows icon to move it up before the submit button. Click the events tab. We're going to add two more actions. Scroll down the action groups. Click the core capture group to open it. Take a load capture action. Drop it in the onload event and move it up before the show HTML action. Take a check capture action and move it up in the on submit event before the show thanks message action. Notice there are two events inside the action here. We want to handle the case when it fails, so we drop an event loop action into the on fail event. The default settings here are all OK for the moment. We'll save and close the form, go to the browser tab, refresh the form, and you can see that we have our capture box included in the form elements now. Type in the code, click submit, and the form submits OK. Go back, refresh the form, type in the wrong code, click submit, and we get two error messages, one a system message at the top and one down the bottom in the element itself, which is useful if you have a long form. We can make a change to improve the visibility of that capture method. Back in the wizard edit, open the form, click the events tab, click the load capture spanner icon and change the true type font support option to with fonts. Save the form, refresh it in the front here, and there we have a much better looking and slightly obfuscated code image. Type in the letters from the image, submit, and the form submits OK. Thank you, that's all for now.